Hey family, welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are excited because we are headed out on vacation. I'm getting the rest of the bags downstairs where my, my carry-on bag, they took the, the larger luggage downstairs. I'm upstairs just making sure um, the blinds are closed. Everything is put away. Everything is cleaned up because who hates to, um, who likes to come back from vacation and the house is a mess. So I am actually straightening up upstairs, getting ready to head downstairs so we can head out on vacation. Just brought my backpack down. Here are our carry-on bags, baby's backpack, um, our jackets. Oh, don't let me, I keep feeling like I'm going to leave my coat because um, I did not pack it. I'm going to carry it on the plane. I, actually, I probably could pack my coat. Huh, babe, did you pack your coat or did you? It's in my book bag. It's in a book bag? Okay. All right. Babe is loading up the truck. So I'm going to give my flowers a little bit of water before I leave. We are finally at the airport. We just finished up. Yeah, this is my second one. We finished up lunch. They're picking at me guys by my GoPro. Vlogger's life. We just finished up um, lunch at the airport. We're getting ready to leave. Got my family. Got, say hey, Ed. Got my family with me. So it is about, it is 3.42. What time we board at? 4? 4.45. So we got about an hour to get freshened up. 4.40. So we got about an hour to get freshened up. We about to pay our check. Lunch was good. My son was picking at me about being to the, being at the airport so early. We got here at 1. Actually, we got to the um, parking deck at, deck at about 12.35. We parked. We got inside the airport about 1 o'clock. Yeah, about 1 o'clock. Um, it took a minute to get checked in. Um, TSA was smooth. TSA line, when you guys came through, was it was nobody in line, right? We walked right up to the counter. Give you a card. Yeah, to get the car. Yeah, it was it was a line there. It was, it was, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I looked at y'all. Okay. Oh, okay. See, it was nobody when we came things. through. Uh, so we did get through TSA in, in a breeze. Walked oh, right in. Babe went to do the free shop. Got him a, yeah, a bottle. Um, so we'll have it for the we trip. Up, it was a lot. Yeah, we and we we're about we to head to our gate. We are at our gate. Just sitting and waiting to board our flight. I got my hubby hubby. I got my bestie. She's back there and her hubby. We are on our way. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. I'm trying not to yell. On our way to Switzerland. First stop Amsterdam for a quick layover and then on to Zurich. Our plane is here. Um, we got our snacks. I got some extra food. Got our pillows and blankets. I am a sleeper, so I just went and got me some um, Tylenol PM. I'm actually already sleepy, so I may fall asleep. Kendra's laughing at me. I may fall asleep as soon as we get on the plane. <laughs> Early morning in Amsterdam. Heading off the plane with a handful. All right, I got some pizza left over from Atlanta. Did your pizza make it through the whole It did. <laughs> Up in the um, hey, luggage. You weren't tempted? No, I'm, I'm tempted now. Yeah. <laughs> take naps um, when we first land but I don't know today I might have to take a nap since we did not do a non-stop flight we had to stop in Amsterdam I need a nap <laughs> very sleepy very sleepy yeah I am yeah we're sleepy Ed are you sleepy Kendra you sleepy yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is such 
to nice quaint town. It's Sunday, so everything is kind of quiet. So we pretty much have the old town of Zurich to ourselves right now as we do our walking tour. town of Neuchâtel which is on the western side of Switzerland and behind me and I'll show you guys a little later on the behind me is um, the Neuchâtel Lake and because the day is so nice and clear we have a great view of um, the Alps the Swiss Alps so I'll show you that in a second but this is the square in Neuchâtel and we have the option to go up to the castle but I don't think I'm gonna climb the castle, climb up to the castle. <laughs> I don't think my husband will go for it. So we did decide to take the hike up, up the hill, so that we can go up to the castle, New Chateau, which is French for New Castle. Ooh, I gotta walk a little faster to keep up with everybody. I am completely out of breath. <laughs> We just climbed up this hill to get this view and they beat me. It won. <laughs> all right, here's the view that I climbed all the way up here to get. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this view of the town of La Chapelle, not La Chapelle, La Chatel. We're up on the castle, but can you see off in the distance? Those are the Swiss Alps. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Check it out. Look at that view. We're gonna get a little bit closer as the week goes by, but from here, this is a great view. On this clear day, you can see the peaks. All right, guys, we just arrived in Montreux. And we are in room 78. Hello. Hello. Our luggage is being delivered. So give it. Yeah. Luggage is being delivered. This is our room. We're at the Eurotel here on Lake Geneva in Montreux. Room is very, very spacious. Very nice. So we're getting our bags delivered. We are here for two nights. We're about to hit the streets of Montreux before we lose daylight. But here is our view. And let me take you out on the balcony. We have a balcony. Check this out, guys. This is our view. This is Lake Geneva. Those are the Alps on the French side of the lake. This is a promenade along Lake Geneva. This is the strip. So yeah, you can't ask for a better view of the lake. All right, so I'll bring you guys along as we hit these streets.
this morning we are here at Cash, uh, Castle Chillon on Lake Geneva yesterday as you saw we were in Montreux we're still in Montreux um, but today we're gonna tour um, this castle that's on Lake Geneva check out the views See the French apps over on that side. So the French apps are across the way, and France and Geneva, the city of Geneva, is on the other side of the lake. Hey, babe, you want to take a picture right there? My husband gets sick of me taking pictures. We are entering the castle. <laughs> Check out the fireplace. <laughs> Put a whole body in there. Barrels. Old. Some of you might have even seen or used it. Oh, the silly. <laughs> 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 What's up, Woo <laughs> Alpine village of Gruyere. We're about to have lunch and have some um, fondue. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Check out this view. Hey fam. Y'all check out this view from where we just had our lunch. I'll tag the restaurant um, below. Or I'll put it right up here so you guys can see the restaurant. But this is the view that we had for lunch. The apps in the background. Nice restaurant. So now that we're done with lunch, we're gonna head on out. It's a nice place. Really nice place. Into the town. This is nice. YouTube family, I wish you guys could really get the full breadth of this view. It is so nice. And I swear the camera is doing it no justice. But I'm gonna share with you what I see. It's awesome. And then every time I turn around, I see this guy. He's catching a view of something. This is Town Chapel. Guys, the views are absolutely endless. So I wanted to make sure to capture this for you. And the gardener's up there, I guess. <laughs> Getting ready for spring. It actually feels like spring. We have on coats, but it is not cold at all. I keep taking my coat on and off, on and off, and I'm just taking it off because I don't want to hold it. But we are taking it all in. 
Hey guys, my hair is kind of wild. <laughs> Been wild the whole time, but we have finished up our little lunch. He went to use the restroom. So Bay went to use the restroom um, before we get back on the bus and head off to our next stop, which will be um, a chocolate factory. So come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, we are here at the Kaye Chocolate Factory Museum and still great views of the Alps all around us. Shopping around, I think Bay and I are gonna get a t-shirt. They have lots of chocolate. We're gonna get this t-shirt, but we're gonna get the gray. So it says chocolate lover. Here's the gray. They have all kinds of little things to buy. You can get this box. Get this box and you fill it up with these, with what you want in the box. And I think they're 80 cent a piece. So 315. So 315 guys. It's time for us to head to the tour. Let me catch up with my husband. <laughs> this feels like the Heineken factory in, um, in Amsterdam that we did a few years back. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. You're making chocolate. I wonder if that chocolate wall is real. Ask him if that chocolate is real. Ask him if that wall is real chocolate. Yeah, this is the 201. We gotta go this way. Let's see what it says. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So we are going to the Terret Tet Guillaume. Is it oh it's Terret. All that all those other letters don't say anything. The the, no, the T E T is silent. The T at the end, Terret. <laughs> <laughs> Get your name. Get your that's, a, that's, a, that's a track. <laughs> Gillen. Gleon. Oh, that's what she was saying. Gleon. She did say Gleon. She did. And I'm saying Gillion. She said Gleon. All right, so we're going to wait right here for the next train. So how do you say it again? Terrat. How do you say it? You know how to say it? Funicular? No. The, <laughs> the, the name. Um, Guillaume. The name of the stop. What was the name of the stop? No, she says it was G. Gleon. Gleon, but the name of the stop is something with a T. Oh, Terrat. Terrat. I can't say it. Gari. Gari. <laughs> yeah, but we're going up. <laughs> we're going up. We're going up. just got off of the funicular and we're gonna
take a look around. Check out the sunsets. Let's see. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. And we have it all to ourselves. Is that thing abandoned? Let's see. It's closed. Look, it's closed. How many millions of dollars will it take? Take to refurb it. This place is closed. We got some great views from up here. This abandoned hotel. Looks like something out of the shiny. Let me catch up with everybody. We're trying to see if this bar is open. Don't leave me. I'm trying to fly. and we're about to head to Bern um, for a little sightseeing and then later on we will be in Lucerne so we're at breakfast as you can see they just got some coffee and I am admiring this view we're in the city of Bern which is the capital city of Switzerland Helvetia is the official name or the Latin name of the country of Switzerland, this area. But we're in Bern today. We just stopped for a second, uh, take a bathroom break, stretch our legs, and then we actually are gonna meet our guide here in Bern in a few minutes so that we can check out the city for a little while before we make our way on over to Lucerne. But yeah, this morning, pit stop in Bern. About to go back down here with Bay and Kendra and Ed. It's a little cooler here in Bern. She did say it's a lot more cool here than um, down on Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva is quite nice. Warm weather. Uh, it's not even so cool here that it's like cold. We're comfortable. I have on like a um, pair of tights. I have on jeans, jeans, my light boots. I have on this turtleneck and then I have on like this um, lightweight jacket. Um, just this, you'll probably see me later today if I take my jacket off. And then I have on my, my nice warm coat and then my hoodie. So this is all you need, nothing too much. Yeah, it's still snow on the ground here and you can kind of see um, like in the shade, see like patches of ice mixed with snow. Um, it makes it look looks colder than what it really is. I'm not even certain why. When we were yesterday, when we were in um, when we were in when we were at Gruyere, we still saw a lot of snow on the ground, like ice. You know, just nasty looking, dirty snow and ice. Why it had melted? It was so warm. You would have thought everything would melt. It was still ice on on um, the snow on the rooftops. But hey, I don't know. But it's not cold where it's not manageable or you know you feel uncomfortable it's definitely not that i'm gonna head over here towards this bridge and see if i can get a view um from this bridge because this is the river 
well, the R River. I think it's spelled A-A-R-E, but it's the R River. And this is the river that Burn was built on, the old city of Burn. Let's take a look. All right. Turn this corner, should be a nice view. At least it looks like it. Oh, it is a nice view. Look guys. So let me go up a little bit more. And this is where I was before. I was standing right over here, right over there. So I just swung around on this bridge. See if I can get a better view. You see the houses over, over that way? Everything is just so clean here. It's like pristine, especially down in uh, Montreal. So we have made our way up on this hill. It's called the Rose Garden. There's no roses here. They're not blooming yet, but check out the look of the city, the view of the city. And there's the river. And then the river comes around and it bends and goes back around that way. And so the town is situated right up in here. We're taking a stroll down one of the historic streets in Bern. This house is from 1515. Uh, all these cellars, I'll show you some more on the street, but these doors here, they were all originally wine cellars. Here's some more good examples of the wine cellars. Of course, there's no more wine cellars. It's presumed that they built the south stone porches, so it's more on the outside. I've made my way around the side towards the rear of the Musa. And let me give you a shot of that. This is a park. Um, but this is the side of the church. There's a steeple. Got a picture of it. I wonder what those are. Are those vineyards? Or just I don't know, there's a garden. He got down there. I don't know what he's growing on that hill. We're out on the main street here in Bern. Looks very similar to the street we were on. All right, heading on up a little bit from the Einstein. Can I show you guys? The Einstein house. This is where he came up with the theory of revolution. Um, theory of what is it? <laughs> I was gonna say evolution. That is not right. The MC e equal MC squared. You guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we're making our way up to this clock tower, and you see the little um, green, yellow um, statue sticking out from the building. They're getting ready for Mardi Gras. Get ready for my ride. It is some trails. Uh, we're on the bus, guys, and we're driving through the Swiss countryside. And I hadn't been getting a lot of video while we were driving because it's kind of hard to get a good shot out of the window. <coughs> and I'm whispering, so I won't wake anybody up. But the views are absolutely stunning stunning and they have been so good so we've we've had some more uh, some better views of the apps with the snow-capped peaks um when we first started driving but right now i'm not seeing too many of them but you can see some right here on the left but the countryside is so so pretty So just so you know, we have just pulled into Lucerne and we stopped here first just because the day was so nice. So we stopped here first so we can check out this monument. So yeah, 
one more historic site on the tour. Hey guys, a little loud down here, but we have made our way to the hotel in Lucerne. The hotel is called Astoria. It's in downtown Lucerne. Everybody is gearing up for Carnival Fat Tuesday tonight. Um, so we see a lot of people in costumes. We're actually close to the action. So we're getting our luggage situated. They just brought our luggage to the room and we're about to get started. I just wanted to kind of give you a peek of the hotel in the city. We're gonna go down here to the block first. So let me turn you around. Here's the hotel, Hotel Astoria. And you know I will never be able to say the name of this street, but we are definitely um, in the city center. We're about two blocks away from the Chapel Bridge. So if that, if you know anything about Lucerne, that lets you know kind of where we're situated. So we're gonna come out here in a second. Head it back up so it says front desk and they have, um, actually they have an escalator. I'll walk up the stairs, but there's an escalator I could have taken to bring me back up into the hotel. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so our rooms are over here in the 300 wing. We're in room 3102. So lucky to be on the first floor. So room 3102. Can you see it? Can't really see it. Yeah, there it is, 302. So we have our luggage. Baby's already in the room. We just kind of drop everything. Kind of drop everything down. As you can see, he's going to change his boots. Um, charging up a couple of the items. And we just have things strolling around. So Babe and I just came upstairs to the rooftop bar. And it is right nice. So we can sit up here and eat. Have a nice view. Maybe be able to go out and I don't think we're gonna be able to see any of the parade or anything because it's a, like a block over, kind of like a street over. I don't know if you can hear it, but we can hear the bands playing. You hear the bands? You hear the bands? I hear the music. So this is the view that we have from this rooftop, downtown Lucerne. Great view. There are people, can you see the people down there crossing the road? They're headed to the parades. And from what I'm understanding, the parades last into past midnight. Oh. Not sure. Okay. Yeah. So go back this way. <laughs> oh. Where's the breakfast restaurant? For the um the breakfast is upstairs. Upstairs. This is a yeah, private so. room upstairs. This okay, is the thanks. restaurant. The this restaurant. is the coffee shop. <laughs> okay, great. And, and then there's like, a tire uh, room where like that's really pretty. It's outside on the corner. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Perfect. We got choices. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of choices. Where are you from? Uh Georgia, US. Oh that's yes. 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 Enjoy your yeah, thank, thank you. Thank so you. Much. We have made our way down into the madness which is Carnival and Lucerne. And as you can see by the ground, they've already started throwing confetti everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Not sure what that's supposed to be. They're making their way in. Let's go to the bridge for a minute. Check it out. <laughs> it's a large festival. You just meander around, eat, check people out, have a good time.
Oh wow, look at these uh. <laughs> Are y'all having fun? Yes, we're having a lot. Y'all having fun? <laughs> How much fun are y'all having? How much fun? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we're up this morning. We are actually headed um, to go sledding and to take in some scenic views from the Alps on a mountain called Mount Pilatus. Um, but I wanted to show you um, our tour bus while I had a chance. So this is our tour bus. Um, Ed and Kendra are right there. And every day we like rotate seats. So we kind of started up there and then we went to the front and then we we're making our way back to the back so everybody can kind of get that front, front row seat but here's baby now hey. all right so we're here at the the gondola stop which is going to take us up the mountain up Mount Pilatus. I wish I can get a shot for you, but I don't have a shot right now. Um, here is the quick little map. I'll show you this map. I'm going to take a picture of it. Get a line with Babe. So we're going to catch the gondolas in it. It's two parts. The first um, gondola up is a cable car and it is um, seats four people. So we'll ride with Kendra and Ed. We'll go up and then you get off at a stop and you switch to a larger gondola um, that the entire group will get on and it will take us all the way up to the top. Stand about, two tickets, two hats. Oh nice. <laughs> we get hats as well. Out to jump on our gondola. Let me get my hands. My hands straight. It's not like this. It's a no. It's not working. Okay. We got cool little hats. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't what you see. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're at the first stop coming up next in the mountain. We're not getting off here because we're heading on up. Alright, we're finally getting to the second stop where we're going to switch out of this particular gondola into a larger one and make our way to the top. So let me show you. When I say the top, I mean the top of the mountain. I'm gonna walk outside so I can get this view, y'all. Look at this. Look at this view. Take it all in, friends. We're at the top. We're not all the way at the top, but we're up here. Oh, we are up fun. here. That's why you didn't go for a walk. Huh? Oh, the babe made it. Oh, yeah. He said it wasn't so bad. Say, <laughs> but not with the carnival going on. There's the um, gondola back in the background coming through. 
Now, when we go all the way up to the top, we're going to come back down to this spot because we're supposed to be able to go, like, do some sledding and stuff. Um, so hopefully we can do that. It's not that much snow on the ground. Global warming, maybe. I don't know, but it's not a lot of snow, but we're going we're gonna to figure it out. <laughs> of Mount Pilatus. Check out this view. It's so nice to have been there to see this. You can see the Bernese Highlands from here. And I think these are the Bernese Highlands here. <laughs> And this is a hotel that was constructed up here. It's the first hotel constructed up on top of Mount Pilatus. And then up there you can see people are walking. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to break that in a little while. All right, so we just took a couple of pictures from up here. We're up on another level, another vantage point. So let me show you this vantage point. This is actually looking down on the lake and the town of Lucerne. Check that out. Down in the valley and the steep <laughs> drop. That's the gondola over there. And this is what they call the Dragon Pass right here. You can walk through the mountain. All right, we are headed out to do the Dragon Pass, which takes us through the mountain. Mound of snow. That's where we were just standing. Oh, there's the um that is the Birkenstock. We call that mountain Birkenstock. That's sticking out from um Lake Lucerne. Birkenstock. So here's another peak outside of the Dragon Pass. Oh wow, check this out. See these views? And if we're lucky, we may get the chance to see an Ibex. I think we'll be that lucky. All right, we are continuing on the path. The dragon's path. And you keep coming to these little niches where you can get pictures.
everybody we are down from the peak of the mountain which we were can you see behind me let me see way up there we were way up there earlier doing the dragon trail and we came down to this level because there's a adventure park where you're supposed to be able to slay it um in the winter and then in the summertime you can zip line and they have all these activities and i'll show you that in a second but we were not able to slay it because there's no snow so if you look behind me it's like really really dry where they would do the snow um i mean the sledding there's snow down there but i'm assuming that's just not enough you see all the all the rocks and you can actually see a lot of grass as well so no snow no sledding so we're a little bit disappointed but we at least got to come up on the mountain we're never gonna ski because we're not skiers I'm gonna break my leg in Switzerland on vacation. My first time on skis. So we're just out here enjoying the weather. I have on my ski suit um, because we thought we were gonna sweat, I mean, sled, and I didn't wanna get wet. But it is not hot enough for this. It's not hot at all. The temperature feels like it's maybe 50, 55 degrees. It may be 50 degrees. It's not cold at all. Kendra actually just has 51. on 51 degrees. Kendra actually has on a pair of tights and a sweater. A zip up sweater jacket. That's it. But here's some more views of the mountain. And we were, let me see. We were up there. That's where we were. And that's where the dragon, um, the dragon um, trail was. And then we took the cable car back down this way and it brought us back over to this building over here and we're still pretty high up on the mountain um we have to take another gom gondola down from the mountain but do you see the um this is zip line part so each of these these stands here you zip line across and then you can walk across and zip line some more um it looks fun i'll put the um link to mount pilates adventure park i'll put it down below and then down this way you can actually walk this is a trail you can walk up the mountain there are several trails that you can um walk up and down the mountain we saw people walking when we first came up this morning but of course we're not about to walk look at homeboy he's about to have him a good time He's going down the trail. He's coming to me. He's gone. I'm glad he kept going. Because, baby, y'all want to see me run out this mountain? That dog would have started chasing me. officially down and off of the mountain we just got out of our gondola um the smaller ones and we're back down and as you can i made see, it we made it as you can see i am out of all of my snow gear it is unseasonably warm um so having on this coat do we have to scan our ticket having on this coat is a bit much so we got to scan our ticket to come out We are now heading to the um, bus stop. So we're getting on bus number one, which will take us back to Lucerne. This town here where you get on the gondola to go up Mount Pilatus is called Crens. Crens. So if you're ever in Lucerne, 
make your way on the bus to Crens and this uh, Mount Pilatus stop is here. Hansel, you look you look hot. We ain't we showed a different school bus. <laughs> All right, after a short bus ride from Creens, Ferns, Creens, we are back in Lucerne. I'm sorry. Well yeah, look, yeah, Lucerne. And we're about to cross the street. Um and that actually is our bus. I think that's I think that's the other group right there. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna put our stuff down and we're gonna go do a little shopping before we head out for dinner. We are back out. Oh, you're getting in trouble. When we arrived yesterday, we um didn't get here early enough to kind of hang out, check out the Chapel Bridge. So we are about to check it out now. We just got back to the room, put our stuff down, as you saw, and we're back out in these streets. Not sure what this tower is. Not sure if it's truly medieval or if it's over replica of something but it's cute it's cute i have a thing for like medieval european architecture baroque just old stuff european stuff i just have a thing for it i guess that's why i'm always returning to europe for trips i enjoy it a lot so y'all we were supposed to go across the bridge about an hour ago uh, but we slipped into this pub right here this pub and had a hotel burger was it hotel pig what was it mister hotel, hotel pigwick pig right yeah, on the pig right on the river um and we've been in there for over an hour so we're heading now finally to walk across the chapel bridge <laughs> let me show you guys how clear this river is this is actually the river the water is crystal clear. The only reason you can't see over there is just because it's deeper. But the water is crystal, crystal clear. Babe and Ed found them a cigar shop. Of course, they're always gonna find one in every city. And they are sampling, well, not sampling, but the guy is suggesting, suggesting stuff for them. And this is the classic line. And then they have now the anniversary. Oh, we just wrapped up a great dinner at Helvetia. It's called Helvetia Restaurant, and it is right here. Let me give you a good Helvetia Restaurant. This is it, and it was really, really nice. Let me catch up with my people. All right, it's drizzling a little bit, so I put my hat on, and we are walking back to the hotel. I'm not sure, I don't know if y'all can see me or not, but I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. It's like, 8 30 i think we may go to the hotel bar again where we went last night so we're gonna make our way back to the hotel former times and a few employment difficult hey everybody today we are in lugano switzerland on the switzerland well it's lugano switzerland which is very close to the italian border um we're here for the next two days. We just arrived um, and we're right on the lake. I can't see it from where I'm standing right now, but I'll show you in a little while. The lake is a little hazy today, but the weather is nice. Again, no coat, just having a little jumpsuit and a sweater. And we're browsing around the old town of Lugano or where the little shopping area is down here on the, the lake promenade. So we're just browsing around. It is 11.48 and we're gonna head to the hotel around two o'clock all right come on let's take a look we always try to spot the tobacco shop so that the guys can get 
the cigar for the evening. Um, this one isn't open? It is. Oh, okay. You want to check it? Well, let's go this way and check out the other one. Let's check out the other one. We just went inside of this mall called Manor, Manora. Um, it's a shopping mall, reasonably, reasonably priced. But then there's also a more high-end section down this way called um, the Villa Via NASA, Via NASA in Lake Lugano or in Lugano. We've made our way over to the market. It's always nice to kind of be here on a market day. You can smell, guys, I can, I can smell how fresh this produce is, especially the greens. Smells really good. What are those? I'm not sure. It's like some kind of tomato. Yeah. We're taking a nice little stroll along the opposite the Via Nasa here in Lugano. Just walking around, waiting until it's time for us to check in. Oh, it has a Pandora store that we need to check that out. I always buy a charm from every country we go to. I try to get two or three of the charms from that country. We already have, I already have one charm for Switzerland, but I think I want another one. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're in Italy and it seems so in Switzerland, you're gonna see drinking fountains. The drinking fountains are free and they are clean and they are cold and refreshing. Everywhere you see them, it's awesome. Walking around here in Lugano, you can definitely feel the Italian inspiration more so in the rest of Switzerland because the rest of Switzerland has more of a um, German um, feel to it. But down here on this part of Switzerland, the southeast part of Switzerland, it's more Italian inspired and you can, you can tell it. I really, really wanted to take back a piece of Swiss, like something uh, related to a Swiss time piece, like a clock or a watch or something, but I never really took the time to find anything. Um, thought about getting a Swatch watch or throw back to my youth, but honestly, when you wear an Apple watch every day, it's kind of hard to buy a different watch nowadays because I can change my bands, of course, to be whatever I want it to be and I can change the face. And then I wanna wear my Apple Watch because it has so much other information and you know, it has other uses than just being a watch. So, so far I have not gotten, um, I did not get a Swiss time piece. So I'm gonna run in the Pandora store now and check out <laughs> the charms, fill up my bracelet more. All right, so we're still walking down the Via Nasa and I got three new charms and I actually got one charm in burn so now I have four Swiss charms my bracelet is gonna fill up before this is all over with um, this is this is two different bracelets one of them is all travel um, so every time I go somewhere I try to get the, the charms specific to that country guys have found another tobacco shop we didn't buy anything in the other one it was kind of small they didn't have a whole lot of variety so i guess they're gonna try that one out nasa cafe it's the old church kendra has spotted her store on a little baton look at this color i haven't seen this color well i'm not i, I don't do high-end purses but I like that. I like that color. So maybe this is a <laughs> a new winter collection or something. I don't know. Probably some collection. All right, enough with the purses, y'all. Check out this view. I really want the fog to lift. It's kind of hazy. That's why we can't see the, the peaks. Um, 
for a minute I knew the name of that peak that mountain and then we were told the name of that mountain I've forgotten what they were have no idea but yeah like I said in Switzerland the people are kind of quiet they don't talk real loud the city for the most part is quiet there are no horns honking people aren't yelling it's just kind of laid back it's relaxed and that's kind of how this trip has been but when I say this has been like a highlight of my travels <laughs> this has been awesome y'all really really awesome I'm gonna tell you, but I'm probably sit down when I get home and just kind of walk you through a lot of the trip because I haven't been vlogging a whole whole lot. Just trying to like touch on all the different stops we, um, all the different places we stopped at. But this has been an awesome trip. I highly recommend it. All right, guys, we just wrapped up our lunch. Um, I didn't take the camera out. I forgot about it, but I'll insert a picture of what we had. Um, we just wrapped up lunch and I think now we're going to head back to head to the hotels by the time we can check in. Um, it is quarter of two, so I think we can check in at two. So we're headed to the hotel. I know I haven't done a good job of tracking the hotels, but we're at Hotel De La Pa, room 108. So this is our room. I missed the other rooms. Sorry, 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 guys. Come in. It's the bathroom. Nice size bathroom. Not cramped in here. The last hotel bathroom was, um, hello. The last hotel bathroom was a little bit tight. We have a balcony. Let's see what's going on out here. So we have a balcony. Let's wait, is it open? And something like a view. So we got a view of the mountain over here. I think this is, don't don't give me the line, I don't know. But um, we actually have tickets that can will take us up to the top of this peak. See that little, let me move my finger. See that structure at the top? There's a funicular that takes you up there. I doubt we get a chance to do that. We don't want to, I don't know. We don't probably run out of time, but we won't probably be able to do that. But this is Hotel de La Pa in Lugano, Switzerland. I'm going to do just what he did and take a break. <laughs> All right, fam. I took a quick little nap, actually. And we are back out in the streets and headed to take a cruise on Lake Lugano. So I'm really excited about that. So on the way to the cruise. So now, as we're sailing around Lake Lugano, between these two buildings is the border between Lugano, I'm sorry, the border between Switzerland and Italy. So we're right at the border in our boat. Never did cross over into the Italian part of the lake. We remained on the Switzerland side of the lake. Wrapping up dinner at a restaurant called Anna Capri. I guess it's named after the town of Anna Capri in southern Italy. I've never been to Anna Capri, but I have been to Capri. Oh, we get the bells right on time. So the restaurant is right on the lake. Here it is, Anna Capri. I do recommend this restaurant. It was really, really nice. We had like a four, four course meal. That was pretty good. Now we're heading back to the hotel. I'm a bit sleepy. I'm gonna take it in tonight. This morning, good morning. This is a little bit of a hazy, it's not wet, it's not really rainy morning. We're in the small town of Bellanzino um, that is close to the Italian border of Switzerland. 
So we are walking around, just trying to take in the, the town this morning. Um, small town, but there are three castles here that we plan to visit. We'll see how many we actually get to visit. Um, there are three of them. So we will we will plan to visit. We're gonna walk around a little bit in a little while. So I'll bring you guys along. We're in Bellinzona. This is the main square plaza in town. I haven't gotten the name of it yet. I'll figure it out. But it's really, really cute. It's pretty. All right, we just got a little bit of lunch and we are about to head up to Castle Grande. So we're gonna take this route. They carved this out of the, the castle, the granite rock that this castle is sitting on. They carved this out and there's elevators at the back. We're walking towards these elevators because we were not up for a climb to climb up to the mountain. Elevator's coming. So what are the stairs for? Oh, I guess you can take stairs up there too. We'll not be doing that. So babe made me stand in this spot right under this hole. I'm gonna call it a hole. And there's an echo. The Bellevue Disco Plex. <laughs> the Bellevue Disco Plex. <laughs> oh wow, it empties us out in a corner. <laughs> All right, here's the ramp. You walk up this ramp. With so much beautiful weather all week here in Switzerland, we had to have the last day be cloudy and overcast and a little drizzly. It's not raining, we're not wet, and it's actually not really cold, but it is definitely um, really, really overcast, cloudy. See the castle? So we're up here now. Castle Grande. Let me turn it around so you can get a good shot of it. So this is where we walked up the ramp and came out on top of the, in the little courtyard in the castle. I assume back in the day there were like horses and people and I don't know, whatever castle stuff was here before. I'm sure this wasn't whitewashed like this back in the day. But let me go take a look over the side. There, here's another view if you can see. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit of the other two castles that we were gonna try to climb to. But that's one, Salvatore, I think that's what it's called. And then the other castle is up there. So I did wanna go up there. I wanted to do it, but my back was not cooperating. It finally started raining now that we have finished our lunch, but I wanted to come back out and get a, a little bit of a shot over here of the other side of the castle before we head back out. Let me see what's down here. Oh, nothing much, just a heel. <laughs> All right, so you guys see me, but anyway, we're gonna cross the Italian, cross over into Italy, um, to Como. Um, so we're heading now to catch the ride to do that. So let's see you guys in Italy. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made our way to Como. We're officially in Italy and I'm walking out to the lake now. So I'll be able to give you some good views of the lake the sun is trying to burn some of this cloud cover off so we'll see we'll see how much cloud cover we um that goes away before we walk over to the lake well, let me show you the cathedral here and come on we're on the side of the cathedral just came around from the back side and let me show you this is the mountains behind us yeah i left it he's asking me about the gopro 
I am filming on my iPhone, which most of the cut, most of the footage the last few days have been on my iPhone. GoPro kind of gives me trouble sometimes, but we're here in Como again at the cathedral. It's right nice. It's pretty. At some point, I will have seen lots of or most of the major cathedrals here in Italy. I get a kick out of that. I really, really enjoy seeing them. This one is definitely not as big, at least not from the side as some of the others, but it's pretty, so pretty. It's three o'clock. Church is pretty on the outside. The inside is not as nice as some of the other ones I've seen, but I was still, I still love to go inside. I wouldn't pass by a Catholic church in, in Italy without going in if I have an opportunity. Checking in again from Lake Como on this hazy gray day. But nevertheless, we're on Lake Como. And on these types of tours, guys, um, these types of trips, it gives you a good overview of the, the lay of the land, the landscape, and you know what you can see. That's what Babe and I do, do, is we'll take these types of trips. We'll see a lot of different cities, towns, and such and then we plan our comeback. And I think so far from this trip, our definite return spot would be um, somewhere near Lucerne. That was definitely my favorite. So that will be the plan. But for right now, we're just gonna enjoy the time we have left here on Lake Como before we head out. vacation has come to an end we have boarded our flight from Milan to New York and then we'll take a short layover from New York to Atlanta but we are now board we have now boarded the Milan airport is a bit much there's a lot of walking but everything went pretty well we're here seated and we're coming to an end so I'll take this time to say, uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead on and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Say bye, babe. <laughs>